So in this particular lesson, we're going to be looking at products, which is given under the heading simplify or expand. And we're going to be looking at factorization. Okay, now they're both the opposites of each other from the distributive law. So let's just look at this first question here. Question one says in 1.1, we must simplify. So it'll be 2xy into 4x squared y cubed plus 3xy minus 1. So we want to take that into the brackets. We are distributing, or we are multiplying 2xy into the brackets. So let's multiply. 2 times 4 is 8. x times x squared is x cubed. And y times y cubed is y to the power 4. So what do you notice? When we are doing products, we need to know our laws of exponents as well, which means that if we multiply common bases, we must add the indices. Are you with me? Now, let's look at the next. So we're going to take 2xy times plus 3xy. So it will be plus 6x squared y squared. Why is it squared? See the 1, invisible 1, plus 1 is 2, 1 plus that 1 is 2. Just like how you say 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4. When you multiply, you add the indices or exponents. Now let's take 2xy times negative 1 is negative 2xy. And that's my answer. Now I must always check after that whether I can add or subtract the like terms. What makes terms like terms? See this variable or letter part must be identical. So there's nothing here that's the same. Let's look at the next question. 1.2 a plus 1 times a minus 1. Now this is a binomial times a binomial. What's a binomial? It consists of two terms. So we're going to use a method which is called a FOIL method. First, outer, inner and last. So let's multiply a times a is a squared a times minus one minus a one plus one times a is plus a and plus one times minus one is minus one now we got like terms these two terms here minus a and plus a are like terms so we can simplify minus a added to plus a is zero therefore the answer is a squared minus See, we also call the sum and difference. When we multiply sum and difference, we get a squared minus 1, which is actually, if you look at it, difference of 2 squares. 1.3, we got 3x plus 1 all squared. Now, this is a binomial squared. A binomial squared. So, we are going to approach it as follows. Anything squared is multiplied by itself. So, therefore, we're going to expand it and it's going to become... 3x plus 1 into 3x plus 1 equals 2. And we just repeat what we've done in the previous example, which is to use a FOIL method. First, outer, inner, last. Multiply. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times plus 1 is plus 3x plus 1 times 3x is plus 3x and plus 1 times plus 1 is plus 1. What's our like terms? 3x and 3x plus 3x and plus 3x is plus 6x and then we bring down the terms 9x squared and plus 1. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at factorization. Let's look at the first example. 2.1 it says 12x to the 4 minus 4x to the power 6 in factorization we must always look to remove a highest common factor first so if you look at 12 and 4 the hcf is 4 because that's the biggest number that can go into 12 and 4 if you look at x to the power 4 and x to the power 6 the biggest or the hcf of x to the 4 and x to the 6 will be x to the power 4 now, we'll open a bracket because we removed 4x to the power 4 as a common factor. Now, 
We are going to do the reverse process of what we just did here in products. So it will now be 4 times what is equal to 12. 3. You already got x to the 4, so you don't have to put any variable because x to the 4x to the 4, if you multiply 4x to the power 4 times 3, will give me 12x to the power 4. Then I got minus 4 and 4, I already got 4, so I just need to put in here x to the power 2 because x to the 4 times x to the 2 is x to the power 6. Can you see that? 2.2. 2.2 2, we got a squared minus 4b squared now that is a perfect square minus a perfect square is called difference of two squares we also refer to that as dots short an acronym for us to to remember difference of two squares what we need a perfect square minus a perfect square so we draw two sets of brackets because difference of two squares factors out to two binomials the square root of a squared is a and a. The square root of 4b squared is 2b and 2b. One bracket must have a plus and the other one must have a minus. So that's completed. We can't factorize any further. We must always check to see if we can factorize further. Here we got x into a plus b plus y into a plus b. And we can see here that a plus b is common so we can remove it a plus b is a common factor we can remove it and what's left here x plus y so the answer is x plus y so fully factorize a plus b to x plus y 2.4 x squared minus x minus 12 now that consists of three terms it's a trinomial now one of the ways in which to know what factorization is is to look at the process of elimination step number one look to see if you can remove uh, a highest common factor first step number two check now does it have two terms two perfect squares if it doesn't it's not difference of two squares is it going to be grouping grouping is normally four terms no does it have three terms yes if it got three terms you know now that's most likely going to be a trinomial so if you look here, x, it must have an x squared term, x term and a constant term. So we draw a trinomial factors out to become two binomials. x squared is x times x is x squared. Then we're now going to look at the factors of 12. When multiplied together to give me 12, but when added together to give me minus 1. So let's look at the factors of 12. What are the factors of 12? Factors of 12, factors of 12 equals to 1, 2, 6, and 12. Those are all the factors of 12. Let's look for any two of these numbers when multiplied together to give me 12, when added together to give me 1. So 3 and 4, I'm going to use 3 and 4. But remember, I got minus 12 and here, and I got minus 1 there. So my signs that I'm going to use is plus 3 and minus 4. Remember that we can always check our factorization by products. For example, plus 3 times minus 4 is minus 12. Look here, plus 3x minus 4x will give me minus x. And x times x is x squared. So now I know that my answer is correct so we looked at products and factorization which is very very important in the building blocks of mathematics